at last, Dream Studio has been released to the public. This means you are able to use Stable Diffusion, the AI image generating software, as you wish. There's no closed beta anymore. It is completely available for public use. Uh, you're going to need to make an account or link your Discord account. So you can see on my membership, uh, I have some credits that are already given to me. You can buy more credits if you want to dream certain images. And I believe everyone who starts gets 200 free credits. So that's very nice. But this is, um, you know, the main appeal of Stable Diffusion was that it was free in the Discord. If you were part of the beta, you could make as many incredible images as you want for free. Unfortunately, that Discord no longer has the functionality to make images in it, so you'll have to use the website. So, if you want to make the most out of your 200 free credits, then what I suggest you do is you turn down the steps to 10. This determines just how long uh, the program will spend trying to generate the image. And if you turn it all the way down, your images may not be as high quality, like I'll compare it here. We'll do the prompt, sunset over beach. Just do something simple here. If you lower their steps, it is way faster. But as you can see, the sun isn't the most pretty, and the waves almost look like carpet. So if we increase the steps, I'll even do the same seed here. You'll see it'll take longer to generate, but it is well worth the process. Because look how much more realistic this looks. Waves still could look a little better, but the sun looks better and all that. But if you're just hunting for images that best represent your prompt, like if you're doing something complex that the AI kind of struggles to understand, then lower the steps, maximize the amount of images you're trying to generate. Let's do purple refrigerator, red beach, green ocean, nebula sunset. This is the prompt I did to get my thumbnail for a couple of my uh, YouTube videos. Now, as you can see, most of these are garbage and did not follow my prompt at all. But this one over here is pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll keep the same seed and I'll bump the steps up to 50. Seems like it automatically did that for me. And we'll dream it again. Same image. And see, it's a lot better of a looking fridge. There's still no ocean in it, but... Basically, if you want to find images you like, and then you want to essentially sort of upscale them with the program, you're just going to want to increase the steps. And uh, the more steps you use, the more credits it'll take. Like, just for example, here, let me get my membership in another tab. So you can see I'm at 2,711 generations left. So if I just dream, just say, one image with 10 steps, it's the default prompt they have in here. Then I go back to check my membership. I'm still at 2,711 generations. It didn't even count as one full generation. But if the steps are at their default value, which is 50, it's about the happy medium between good quality image and using your credits wisely. And we go back to membership. You can see it used over two generations. So something you have to realize here is the number of generations you have left is not a finite number it's not like oh you can dream nine images for a prompt with the step count however you want the cfg scale whatever you want and it will only take one away from uh, your remaining generations so it's more of a scale and each thing you change when you're generating a prompt is going to take more away from those generations you have left so yeah if you want this uh use your credits as wisely as possible if you don't want to spend any money on dream studio and you want to just use the 200 free credits you have make sure to lower the steps as low as they can go go image by image and maybe even lower the cfg scale a little bit